Hey everyone, it's Anne, and I'm here to share with you a solution to Workout Wednesday 2019, week 30, where we make a navigating KPI block. And here's what you are trying to build. So it's just a nice, simple, small dashboard. It's got four different metrics in it. KPIs, you could call them big angry numbers. It's got the number of customers, the number of products, the number of cities, and the number of orders. And if you click on a subject area, so we'll click on customers, you are going to navigate to a sales by customer bar chart that's got just nicely formatted bar chart in descending order by sales and a button to go back. And if you click on each individual one, you're going to go to a similarly themed bar chart representing each subject area. So the key um, takeaways for this challenge is really uh, two things. One is building out and formatting to kind of match the aesthetic. And the other big one is really building out the navigation for this. So thinking about how you can craft an experience where you are looking at the number of customers and you're interested in understanding some other measure, in this case sales, by that specific dimension that you click on. And then thinking through, well, how could I make that same experience possible with each of the different dimensions that I would want to maybe slice my data by. Okay, so let's go into Tableau and see how we might build this. I've got a brand new um, workbook opened. All I've done is connected to the MySample Superstore data set. You can see it's already got some pre-formatting in it. And from here, we're going to get started building out uh, what we need. So I'm going to start by building out the metrics here. So I'm going to build out customers, which is the count D of the customer name. And then because I like to save time, I'm just going to duplicate that and I'm gonna build it out for our other three. So I'll have orders, and I'm just going to drop order ID in place of that. Same thing, rinse and repeat. Let's go ahead and build out products with the product name. And then finally, we have our last one, which is cities. And I mentioned in the uh, blog post that it's actually city plus state. So we'll, we'll make it the unique combination of both by just adding a plus sign in there. Okay, so now I've got four count distinct measures for each of our subject areas, our customer cities, orders, and products, and I'm gonna start building out those KPI blocks. So to start, I'm just gonna take customers and drag it onto the text mark, and we'll get just a simple number here. It's got the customers, it's got that 793. Now to get my second uh, measure onto the view, I'm just gonna drag products as an example, just so we can see show me come on. I like to do that because that's gonna invoke measure names and measure values and make it really easy for us to work with and make that four block. Then from there, I can just drag cities onto the measure values shelf and the same thing with orders. Okay, so from here, the next step would be to make them square. So to do that, I'm gonna change my label type to a square. And let me go ahead and make this the entire view so you can see it a little bit better. So we're starting to get somewhere. From here, I'm gonna actually take my measure names and put them, let's put my measure values on label and my measure names on label. And let's go ahead and center that on our view. And let's start matching the mark label color because we're gonna end up with that. And we can do some simple formatting here. I think for this, it's just something really obnoxiously large and then a little bit smaller. I find that this tends to work well with my end users, just making the number a little bit bigger so that they can see it. And then the reference subject area smaller underneath it. Okay. So each of these different um, domains is a color. So each of these different dimensions is a color. So I'm just gonna hold down my control key and drag measure names also onto color. So now we have a unique color for each of our different measures. And I mentioned in the blog post that we are using hue circle. So if we come in here, customers is green. I think products was pink. Cities is this blue. And orders, my favorite, is purple. And we'll do that. Two final formatting steps is to bump up the size just to that um, max tick, that max recommended tick mark, and then add on white uh, borders. This will ensure that there's always like a white line between each of your individual blocks when you've got it set up. So I'm gonna rename this sheet and we'll call it KPI block. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna build out one of those uh, bar charts. If you remember what the solution looks like in here, there's just sales by customer. So it's just a bar chart that's the color of whatever that subject area is with the name of the customer or the order ID or the city and then that sales amount. So I'm gonna go ahead and build that component out now. 
So I'm going to build a new sheet and we'll go ahead and call it sales by customer. And we'll get started. So sales is going to go on columns and then customer name is going to go on rows. We're going to do a quick sort just using our toolbar right here. And then we're going to do the same kind of concept. I'm going to control drag to add my customer name to label and my sales to label as well. So pretty simple at this point. We're just going to make it so that our customer name and our sales is on one um, line as opposed to two. I think that sales was a little bit smaller. And then we'll do some formatting. So it was left justified. And at this point, we can match the mark label again because that's what we're going to be doing. And then we want to get the right color. So two ways to do this. If you're really lazy like me, then I would take a screenshot of the colors I came up with and color pick them. Or you can just pull it from the web, right? So I'm going to pick that color here for my customers and use that. If you didn't want to do that, another trick might be to just bring on... Um, a simple ad hoc uh, field, call it anything usual convention is like an A, and then you could drag that into color so that you can get your discrete color palettes and then pull from there. It's your, um, whatever is easier for you to do, uh, no advantage or disadvantage either. Okay, so the last thing I'm gonna do on this one are a couple formatting things. The first one is if you remember our original solution, it, there's a little bit more spacing between the bars and the uh, first few bars have um, a light green text instead of a dark green text, and they're also uppercase. So first to deal with the uppercase, I'm just going to ad hoc add on the upper function around my customer names. Then while you've got the customer name header showing, if you just drag this line between each of the different customer names, and just keep doing that until you get the space that you want between them, and eventually the color will change to that lighter green or whatever lighter color we have. Now this isn't looking quite the same as the solution and that's because the entire workbook happens to be in Tableau Medium. So to do that you can go to Format and then in Fonts and we'll set it to Tableau Medium and it's going to start looking very similar at this point. Okay, so once you've got that set up, I would actually just um, hide the header. This isn't showing either so we can unshow that. There aren't any grid lines on in the entire workbook, so that might be another one that you just turn off really quickly. And then you could, if you wanted to, turn on axis rulers and make it like that dark color. You'll notice when I do that, I also have this um, column axis, so we can turn that off as well in lines. So if we just come in here and we turn off that column axis ruler, now we just have a nice horizontal axis ruler for our bar chart. Now at this point, I'm actually going to go ahead and make two dashboards. So the first one I'm actually going to call our KPI block. And then I'm going to make another one that's going to be sales by customer. And I am not doing good on naming conventions today because I keep repeating the sheet names, but you get the idea. So these are both um, 600 by 600, so we can set that up really quickly. And probably a better time-saving tip for you, and I'll go ahead and do that, is actually to make your first one and just duplicate. That way you, you don't have to redo the sizing. You can keep it, it'll retain it the same each time, so it's gonna save yourself a little bit of time. Okay, so now in my KPI block dash, I'm gonna bring on my KPI block, and then in my customer dash, I'm gonna go ahead and bring in the sales by customer. Now I've got a little bit of junk on here, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of that. And then to make this work, we're gonna actually have sales by customer as a text box. I tend to not use the dashboard titles, but you absolutely could in this case. It's a preference thing. Here, again, because you have the bar chart on there, you can just go ahead and color pick unless you wanna pick it out of the lineup and then hide the title. Now we know that in the end that you're gonna have a button, this guy, that's gonna go back to the main dash. So let's go ahead and build that section first. So let me go back in here and I'm just going to add on this uh, add on a button in the upper right here and we'll go ahead and set that up. So we're going to call this, it's actually going to be a text button and we're going to navigate it to our KPI block dashboard. It's going to say go back. I think this is also in Tableau medium and we can make it bold and white and then the background color, you got it, it's already in your color picker simple as that and then you can adjust the sizing 
you'll see why this is really handy to build this first as I go along. So now we've got our go back button. If I click on it, I'm going back to the KPI block. Now I need to build out the navigation to go from customers to my individual sales dashboard. So to do that, first let's just get rid of this. And what I would do is I'm gonna build a floating button. So the in solution actually works by building out a floating button. And instead of a text button, which you may think that you can use, and I'll show you what this would look like. So let's go to customer dash here and put a space in there. And here you just have a blank, it's a clear background, it's a transparent background text button that theoretically navigates to the customer dashboard. If I hold down my alt key and click on it, it goes there. And if I go back, it um, does the same thing. But what I found is when you publish it like this or if you save it and you open your workbook again, it has a tendency to have the text name button in there. I'll show you what that looks like. It just says button like this. So to get around that, what you can do instead is you can make it an image button and make a simple transparent image that has nothing in it. I've already got one, it's called clear button. This is a one pixel by one pixel, just a transparent object. And then you have a nice, clean, transparent button that will retain its transparency as you navigate between each thing. Now, uh, this, of course, would be how you would build out for a single block. And you see that I have four blocks going vertical. And the final solution has uh, uh, two down and two across, right? So it's, it's, a, it's a four block. So how I resolved to do that is let's actually delete this button. And I went in and I hid the header on this. And this is where I like to format things up to a certain point before I actually do any duplicating. So we can turn off our borders for the entire sheet. I think our row dividers are on right now and we can hide our title. We'll probably have to show that in the end. And at this point it's already well formatted. So I might even do this. I might even go in and just turn off my tooltips. Then if I duplicate my KPI block, all I need to do is take cities and orders off of the first one and then take customers and products off of the second one. And then when I go back to my KPI block dashboard, I'm gonna add on a horizontal container. We'll just throw this guy in there and we'll throw on KPI block two in there, get rid of our extra stuff, hide the title, double click on that to get my layout container shown in the blue and distribute those contents evenly. Now I can do a floating layout container on top of it with all of my buttons together really quickly and I can ensure that they're all sort of lined up. So I'm gonna drag on a horizontal layout container. I'm gonna just throw a button in there. I'll throw another button in there. Let's do the same thing again. So I'm gonna make all four buttons at the same time. And then we'll have one more vertical container. I'm gonna grab this horizontal container and throw it in there. And then the same thing with my other one. We'll double click to grab, drop it in there, double click to get this whole thing going, distribute the contents evenly, do that inside each of those. This is where I would love it if we could do copy paste, but we can't, but that's okay. And then we can go in quickly and just adjust this on the fly. So the last step as well would be to duplicate this customer dash, right? So instead of customer dash, we'll call it the orders dash. And then we can go back to sales by customer. We can duplicate this and just quickly by doing a drag and drop replace, I can drag on my order ID and switch that and then just add a hawk in here. I can change this to order ID, right? The formatting, all the sizing stays relatively similar. And so the last step would be again to go in and we could set our color picker to that purple. So you're gonna save yourselves a lot of time. This is where you may not wanna have a letter on there and just pick the color. And if you need to stretch it again to get it to be that lighter color, do that. But make sure you hide everything you don't need up front. So this is gonna save me at least a few steps as I go through it. And then when I go into my order dash, I can click on my sales by customer and just swap it with that guy, right? And then I can just come in and do by order. I don't know if it said order or order ID. I think it was sales by order. So we'll just call it sales by order. And if you do this all at the same time, and look, all I need to do is come in and change my navigation. I don't even need to change where it goes. I just need to change the color. So this will save you a lot of time when you build it out. And then when you have your final product, so if I take these, and I'll just make this the entire size of the dashboard so that it's very evenly spaced. And we adjust these to that clear image, right? 
and this one's going to go to our customer dash and then we're, we're going to do the same thing for all of them. I'll do the, the same thing for the order dash since I have it on there. Let's go to my order dash there. You will have something very similar to what I have, which is a navigating KPI block that lets you go from any domain that you want, any dimension that you want to look at sales uh, by that respective dimension. I hope you found this helpful. Enjoy Workout Wednesday.